Okay. Welcome to the School of Bitcoin. Uh, today we're going to do a quick value for value lesson on something called LN Bits. Now, LN Bits is an awesome website that actually I'm going to put the link into our chat. And what you can do is I'll share my screen. And if you guys want to follow along in real time, you can, and we can actually send some sets to each other, which would be cool. So legend.lnbits.com, totally open source and LNBits do some amazing work. In fact, they've got a lot of NOST integration and they do a lot like with the, the physical space as well. So like um, projects where you can say uh, things like building an arcade machine where you pay in sats and like all these really, really funky things you can do with LNBits. Um, myself and Ben used it with the kids at school um one of the issues with it was i think it was set like to stop spam after x amount of um hits from one ip address it would um basically the, the web page wouldn't load but they fixed that so i spoke to to um the guys who built this out and they, they fixed it out for us so you can actually run it in the classroom so it's literally like the easiest way to to register a um a an account so, or, or a wallet should i say so you have a few options you can sign in with an email address you can sign in with github if you want or you can just create a wallet so you can just write a name so i call this one kieran click on add new wallet and that quickly we've got a, a bitcoin wallet set up so with that you can actually do create an invoice We'll do 21 sats, create, and I'll center that. Yeah. So just scanning it with my wallet of Satoshi. That's come through. So that quickly, I've got 21 sats sitting in there. Now you can export that. You can rename the wallet. You can have, what's the figure tracking? Oh yeah, cool. Just in terms of, that's what make it AUD. I'll take currency. Um, you can have, uh, it's got API keys. And the, the cool thing is it's got all these extensions as well. So with that, so we haven't even signed into anything, right? So as long as you have that URL, um, which I'll just bookmark now, you have a wallet that can talk to all these different tools and some of them are really cool. So I set up this tip jar one the other day. Um, Cashew is really cool. There's like, there's a lot of stuff to play around with and you can get up and running like really, really quickly. So let's do. All, uh, work on the old iPads. Remember, I was trying to get these old iPads to load a, um, a lightning wallet. Oh, yeah. I was going to take a few to El Salvador or Brazil because they've got a load of broken iPads they got from Holly. I'm going to try that now as we're speaking. Let's All do right. it. And I'll send these 21 sats to you. Uh, so if we do. Yeah, I tried to send as well. Not sure if you got it, but Oh, did you? Okay, let's Yeah, let's do it. yeah. Oh yeah, I see a QR code on scanning. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> let's do another one. <laughs> I think I think I was quicker. I'll send you uh, one. Uh... Let's see if that comes through. There you go, mine's going. Job done. Yay! <laughs> I'm getting rich. All right, hang on, let's get. <laughs> you gotta send it back, mate. You gotta send it back. Go, go, go. go. <laughs> There's another uh, one. <laughs> I'll try this one. Let's see. Yeah. Well, it is a oh, there we go. Yeah. Wallet is is saying it's not legit, so I'll have to use my Albi wallet. Oh really? I'm oh, I, 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 I use I use wallet of Satoshi for that right now. And so oh, yeah, yeah it's happy then, please. Okay. <laughs> Okay, now it's doing it. It was saying that mine wasn't legit. Oh, right. Okay. You know, I, I think it does that when someone have done the same transaction already, right? So to yeah. avoid payment. Okay. 
There we go. I've sent awesome. it. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, um, thanks, guys. All right. I'll see you later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to run, guys? <laughs> um, all right. So let's try this one. So I haven't done this before. Export to phone. All right. So I'm going to scan this with my phone. Wow. Within one minute, 21 sats became worth two cents instead of one cents. <laughs> Double. We're at hundred K. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So I didn't like that. Let me try. So the idea, actually, you guys should be able to scan that potentially. Yeah. Okay. So just scan that QR code and see if you can open it on your phone. That's not a LN invoice. Try again. No, no, no. Like just scan it with your camera app. Oh, okay. So, so did, but, but that will give full access to the water, right? That has the it key. It will. Yep. Yeah, right. Okay. That's the key. So it's the idea of being like, obviously, we, we, we're we recording this. So whoever's, yeah, yeah. whoever's going to scan it is going to steal those funds. But yeah. the, the idea being, yeah, I got the same. I got the same thing. Uh, 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 uh. Um, uh. Weird. HTTP 401 error, missing user ID. Has anyone been able to scan that? Anyone with their phone? Maybe try. Are you using um, Brave browser as well, Electra? Uh, my not on this phone. On my other phone. I'm using Brave. I thought maybe it was a Brave thing. No. It. No. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Well, that's that's something. That, oh, unless anyone has success scanning that and recovering it. It came up as an error on mine. Error as well. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So must be something wrong with that. All right, well, let's try and just do a, 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 a paste request. So if someone sends a request in the chat. Yes. So basically you do create invoice, put in, say, 21, say, thank you, create invoice, and you should be able to copy invoice and then paste that into the chat. And then I'll send it to you. So let's just try that. Where is the chat? So it'll look like that. You guys can see the charts. It's a long string of uh, characters. Uh -huh. Actually, I'll bring up a new. Um... So it looks something like that. So if someone wants to do that into the chat, then I'll I'll send it to them. <laughs> yeah, I like they put that at the top as well. Use with caution. <laughs> Alan Bits <Yeah>. is still <laughs> in. <interested. laughs> it's just it's just a like a play around wallet, right? So you would you wouldn't put uh twenty-five million dollars in here like that. <laughs> or maybe it's probably more secure than that bank. <laughs> 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 All right. Has anyone managed to uh, do do a invoice yet? No. All right. So I'll run you through it again. So you go create invoice, put in the amount. Yeah. You could even do it in AUD if you wanted to, but we'll leave it as stats. Put a memo. Go hi. Whatever. Create invoice, and then when this pops up. You do, there's a button at the bottom that says copy invoice. So if you click on that, it'll give you a long string of characters that looks like that. And if someone can paste that in the chat, there we go. Cool. Ben, Ben, you're stealing it all. <laughs> so I do paste request, read, not enough funds. <laughs> <laughs> the message there, mate. <laughs> Show me the money. Sent on the chat, mate. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, or do do one for twenty one, just so we can show a transaction okay, going. Out. <laughs> That's awesome. Then. Well, that's, that's actually really good because it it shows you like that you you can't sort of overspend more than you have, right? Yeah. 
<laughs> well, that's good. That's good, yeah. But no. any, any problem with receiving more? <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's something called the, the double spin problem. That's that's what Bitcoin sort of solves, right? Um, <laughs> all right. Well, you may as well do all 84 then, Ben. Is that it? Oh, I just did 21 then, but yeah. Okay, no, no worries. Could have made a bad way for a while, couldn't we? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All righty. So that should have gone out to you. Yep. And then... Got it. If someone wants to do one for 63, and then I'll delete this wallet. Karen, do you want 63, Seth? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Uh, if you got got your have you got got this window open on your computer? On my computer, yes. Yeah. No, right. sorry, I've only got it on my screen. Ah, uh, okay. You, uh, you've only got the one screen as well. That's I'll okay. Oh, uh, you, you sixty-three. If you guys, here you go. Ian. It's all yours. I'm oh, gonna be rich. Three sets. Okay. <laughs> oh, 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 hang on. So we don't have enough. Because it, there'll be a fee. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Try do 61. Yeah. Just to be safe. Service fee 0.5% per transaction. All right. We get that. Beautiful. All right, yeah. let's try that one. First pay. Oh, still not enough? What? What? That'll be more than enough. Okay, interesting. All right, do 59, maybe. Okay. Losing sets here. What's going on? Right. Um, right. Hey. Ran out of routes after one attempt. That's weird. <laughs> and felt call lightning method pay felt ran out of uh, Wow. Let me refresh the browser and see. Yeah, what's going on? Ah, what does it mean? Place that as five twenty after one attempt. Hmm, that's okay. Maybe do just do one for say fifty. Let's try that. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. I wonder what that is. Service fee zero point five percent per transaction, max one hundred sats. Hmm. I'm trying the URL in the, this old iPad on Safari, and just goes to some other random website, uh, lib libhunt.com, and it talks about Index Ledger, which is really strange. What? Yeah, I'm putting the same exact same URL into this old iPad. To legend.lmbits.com. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's bizarre. Well, if I get it working, I'll let you know because it'd be great for your um the peninsula you turning these old iPads into well into POS systems, you know. Yeah, that works. That's still, good. We've still got 12 sets. <laughs> wow. I wanted to delete this wallet. Oh 12 sets is nothing, I suppose. Um oh you know what? Let's just put this up. So in this, anyone who wants these 12 sets, have at it. <laughs> if you can scan that QR code and recover it, it's all yours. <laughs> that's, um, that's but, but good, hand, hey? good practice would be to delete the wallet. So, like, you, you take all that out and then just press the delete button, and it's, it's kind of gone. Um, particularly for something like this where it's going to be sort of public, but um, pretty cool. Hey, like, in terms of uh, like a learning resource to jump in, learn with a small amount of, of funds, and you can do a lot of cool projects with it as well. So definitely worth looking into. And uh, we might do a follow-up at some point um, when I go through some of these extensions and go through 
um, how some of them work and building stuff out in the classroom. One of the big ones I'm really interested in is um, we're building an arcade machine in our classroom. So using this, I don't did I show you this one, Ben? The arcade make code? No. Oh, you oh. speak about it, but um, I haven't tried it with the kids. They're just continuously in Minecraft. <laughs> well, so you know, you know, in Minecraft, how it's got the um, the drag and drop code, so you can do Python or yeah, drag yeah. And drop. So this is the same drag and drop code, um, because it's Microsoft, and you can literally jump in. So we'll do an example. Jack just got into uh, Minecraft books by author Max Brooks. Have you oh. heard of him? It's full on big, big books. You know, small words. And uh, he's been, his reading has just improved massively. Ah, oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Blind, he's flying through the books. And it's so well written too, you know, the vocabulary in these, because he's he, he was reading Diary of a Minecraft Zombie, which is a bit, you know, more, you know, basic. And this yeah. is a full, thick book and um, excellent. And it's an official Minecraft one. So the other ones were unofficial. Right, official, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh but but this is this tool is like wicked so you can jump in and it's so this is just like an example export it to github um you can jump in change the code like do all sorts of stuff start from scratch it's because music music editor um sprite editor so you can go in let's give him laser eyes uh, uh, um jump back out and then to play the game you literally do this full screen play and away you go um but the cool thing is that we want to do is like we're building an arcade machine in the classroom so it'll be games that the kids are making played on an arcade machine that they've built so like full end-to-end -end. and the cool thing is you don't have to install anything it's all browser-based so what i want to do with that arcade machine is make it lm bits enabled so you can pay sats to it to actually yeah. play the games that you've made sort of thing so I'll give some updates on that, but this is definitely worth um, cool, looking yeah. at as well. Anyways, we'll leave it there. We've gone way over time, I think. Oh no, bang on. Jeez, that was quick. That was good. <laughs> um, <laughs> sharing. Awesome. Well, thanks very much, everyone. I'll post this one up and um, we'll do another LM Bits uh, sesh, or if anyone wants to do value for value on, on anything, um, just, <laughs> just chuck it in the, um, the score Bitcoin agenda. Um, so that's that that Google Doc, it's just attached to Google Cal. I think you've all got right access, so you're more than welcome to throw anything in there, and we'll, I'll see you guys next week. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Bye.